Hey guys, CB Super. Today I'm going to show you how to cache fusion effects clips inside of DaVinci Resolve 17. For this demonstration, I'm going to be using my newly updated CB Speedlines tool that you can get for free over on cbsuper.com. Just scroll down here to where you see Speedlines. Just left click on this. It's going to automatically download to your computer. You will need to unzip that file however you normally unzip files. Once you have that file, you're gonna put that inside of Fusion and I'm gonna show you exactly where to put that. Let's go ahead and jump over to the Fusion page. You wanna make sure that you have your effects library open. If it isn't, just go ahead and click on the effects library, come down to edit templates and you wanna click on effects. Now we're gonna come up to this three little dots, left click on the three little dots and then click on show folder. What that's gonna do is that's gonna automatically go to the exact folder that we need to put this file in. But if you already have an older copy of CB Speedlines, you need to replace that copy. Now there's a couple ways you could do this. The easiest way is probably just to delete the old CB Speedlines and put the new one in. So if you need to do that, you can go ahead and delete it right here, but you're also gonna to have to delete it from the Fusion Macros folder because when I put anything in this effects folder, it actually automatically updates into the Fusion Macros folder. So let's come over here. If I just click on this Fusion file path over here, and then I can come down to where it says macros and double click on that. That'll take me into my actual macro folder. Now I can go ahead and I can just remove this one and I, I don't need to necessarily replace it. I probably would just delete this and then come back over to Fusion, come back down to templates, edit, effects, and I would put my CB Speedlines tool right here. Once you've done that, you can go ahead and X out. You don't need to save it or anything like that. You will need to restart DaVinci. So I'll need to close DaVinci down all the way and then restart it. And then I'll be able to use this from the edit page. So I'm gonna just jump over to the edit page because I've already done that. And I'm gonna show you how to actually use this tool. So here we have just some mountain biking clip. It's not mine. I got it off of pixabay.com. I think what we need to do is we need to add some speed lines to this effect. So let's go over to the effects library. I'm gonna come down to CB speed lines. You'll notice if I hover scrub over and I have hover scrub turned on, which if you're in the free version, you might not have it turned on. But if you wanna turn it on, you can come over here to these three little buttons, left click and just click on hover scrub preview. But you need to be careful because if you accidentally hover scrub over one of these other tools you'll notice you'll get some unknown tool warnings just keep in mind that if it does happen uh it's not a big deal just go ahead and x out of them here we are cb speed lines i'm just going to take this tool grab it with my left mouse button and drop it right onto the mountain biking clip i want to come over to the inspector and into the effects section and we can change whatever we want by default it should be set up with a line amount of 20 and a lifespan of four you can of course add more lines if you want just keep in mind that it's just going to give you a drastically different look so you can color them if you want. You can also make them darker just by simply using this make darker line here. Uh, one thing to note is if you have a color selected and you make it darker, it will make that color darker until it gets to a certain point and then it'll just make it black. If you can't get the color that you're looking for just using the color wheel, you can always get a color that gets you close and then you can kind of make it darker if you need to. You also have a new blend section that will allow you to change the opacity of the effect in general. Of course, all of these little diamonds over here mean that each one of these is key frameable, which means that you can animate these over time. All right, so we have our effect and I'm gonna go ahead and press play. You'll notice that I'm getting approximately two to three, sometimes maybe four or five frames per second, which is not ideal. One thing that we noticed is that it didn't automatically start caching this like it would normally do if we were adding this effect inside of Fusion. And you can still add this effect inside of Fusion, but we can actually cache this now from the edit page. And to do that, all we need to do is right click on the clip, come up to render Fusion, Fusion effect filter, which is what they're calling it in the cache system. And I want to click on this CB speed lines. Now you'll see we get the little red caching bar. Of course, it's changing from red to blue. When it changes completely blue, it means it is fully cached into our system. And then we should be able to play this and the effect in real time. Okay, so here we are, it is fully cached. That did take a little bit of time to actually render out, but this is a pretty complex particle system that is also being warped around coordinate space nodes. So it is a little bit of a heavier effect, but I think it turned out pretty well. So this is the CB speed lines. Of course, you can get it for free over on cbsuper.com and I showed you how to install it. So it's pretty easy to use. So one thing to note, if this isn't working for you, you may wanna come up to playback and check what you have your render cache on. If you have it set to none, it might not work correctly. You see that it just took that cache away. So you may need to have your render cache either on user or smart in order for it to actually cache. All right, so that's it for me. I hope you guys got something out of this video. If you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe, hit that bell notification, and I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks.